A lot of business owners complain about unwarranted tickets for the New York City Sanitation Department. Our exclusive investigation uncovered what you could call a cash for trash operation. One worker telling us ticket quotas are part of the job. Seven Year Sides Jim Hopper with secret recordings that shed light on what's really going on. Jim? Well, the Department of Sanitation denies that they have any ticket quota. A whistleblower, though, says he was fired in part because he complained about one. And he says a recording of his supervisor proves there's a quota, and it's all about the money. When Mark Conti graduated as an enforcement officer for the Sanitation Department, he saw himself as a green cop, helping to make New York cleaner and greener. My dream of a green cop? No, it's about the money. He says almost from the start, he learned that it was all about a ticket quota. Generate cash for the city, write tickets. If you don't write tickets, you're not doing your job. They want to go out and write some of this. The rookie enforcement agent started secretly recording his supervisor during roll call. I see some of the numbers that I'm not happy with. They expect double digits. And by double digits, Conti says his supervisor expected him and the other agents to write at least 10 tickets every shift. Yesterday's uh, uh, numbers, a couple of people wrote above 10 and a couple of people wrote under 10. There it is, clear as day, that, that there is a quota. Conti was fired after one year. This one-sentence termination notice he received gives no reason why. Conti has filed suit claiming illegal discrimination and retaliation due in part to his complaints about a 10-ticket-per-day quota. He's provided the court with the recordings of his boss. Our main function is to generate <coughs> revenue for the city. That's basically what we are. Okay, there's nothing else about us. We go out there, we write tickets, and we go home. And it didn't take long to find small businesses who felt as if they were victims of a sanitation shakedown. So when you were ticketed, it was right here? Yes. Up against the building? Just like that comes in. This juice store manager had to pay a $100 fine for obstructing the sidewalk, even though their sign was up against the store, nowhere near where people walk. That's pretty, uh, pretty ridiculous because there's absolutely no reason for it. This drugstore owner has been hit twice for litter in the street. We're on Broadway. I'm like, there's rappers everywhere and there's wind and I'm like, but there's nothing here. What are you talking about? The third time that he got a summons, he took pictures which showed his sidewalk was clean. Do you feel like this was kind of a shakedown? Yeah, of course. And that month we got like two, and the amount is like up to $300. I mean, it, you know, it's a lot of money. In a statement to us, the Department of Sanitation says it does not maintain or enforce ticket quotas, nor does it discipline employees for failure to write a minimum number of tickets. Don't make me look bad by writing on the tent. Conti says the recording calls into question sanitation's quota denial. Stop forcing your tickets down everybody's throat. Besides denying the quota, the sanitation department says Conti's lawsuit lacks any merit. Now this story came to us through a tip. If you have an issue that you need investigated, please call us at 877-TIP-NEWS. You can also email us directly at 7onyoursidejim at abc.com. Back to you.